All right, well, <laughs> we've had an eventful morning. I uh, had a cardiology appointment this morning. What better day to have a cardiology appointment than Valentine's Day? Um, just exactly how I planned on celebrating. Uh, everything was fine. It's a long story. Maybe I'll tell you later, but uh, everything's fine. The, uh, the cardiologist is um, walking distance. I would say across the street, but that's, that's almost misrepresentation because it's, it's all in the same parking lot um, from the hospital. So I left my cardiology appointment and went to see my father. And we sat there and we were watching sports and shooting the shit and laughing like we tend to do. Um, when I got a phone call from the hospital, I don't understand why they don't just check his room first when they know that I'm there pretty often. But they were calling to let me know about discharge. And he is getting discharged today. And I was told by one nurse that it would be after lunch. Um, she said time, sometime after lunch, early afternoon. So I'm thinking 1.30, 1 o'clock, you know. And uh, so I said, okay, what I'm going to do is run home, get everything I need to give him a good shower and shave, which I left his damn razor at home. Shit, i got to go back and get his razor. we got to do a shave. His, his hair is all over the place. Uh, so anyway, shower and shave and... Um, fresh clean clothes that I've got in a bag here and get him cleaned up before he comes home. I got his walker in the back and I guess that's all there is to say about that. I didn't think I'd be in the truck this long so uh, I'll go ahead and on my way back to the hospital once I go get his razor um, tell you the cardiology story. <laughs> all right so here we go. I uh so I had the echocardiogram, I don't know, the end of last month, uh, eight days ago I had the, um, uh, no, echocardiogram, uh, EKG, and sonogram, yeah, ultrasound, over the last couple of weeks. And they, they as every doctor that ever listens to my heart is, they were curious about my VSD, which is what causes my murmur. Uh, in combination with the um, v, VDT or VR, whatever it's called, the, the arrhythmia. And so they wanted me to see general cardiology, not just the electrophysiologist. And I did. And of course, you know, first of all, you see height and weight, age, you think big, fat, lazy person. Well, I might be big and fat, but I'm not a lazy person, and I exercise regularly, and they recognize that once they listen to my heart, once they see me, I guess. And this doctor, as soon as he walked in the door, he's like, Dr. Netzler, the last guy I saw, says, your passion is lifting weights. Well, I, I kind of balked at that because I do enjoy very much lifting weights and I do it frequently. But my passion's exercise and the majority of my exercise is actually cardio. So uh, in spite of the fact that I don't look it, I do have a really pretty good, strong heart. But that, that VSD um, causes some disturbances when they do imaging, like an ultrasound, that they are having a hard time differentiating uh, the VSD from another issue that might need addressed. So he said, right now it doesn't look like anything much. If you're not having any symptoms and you're not having, uh, and he went through the list of typical things, you know, fluttering or shortness of breath or whatever. I said, well, I have shortness of breath when I'm exercising because I'm exercising hard. He said, no, no, just like normal. He said, even like laying down at night. I was like, no, I don't. I lay down at night and more often than not, I'm out like a light. So blood pressure was a little high today, but my blood pressure is always high at the doctors. I do definitely have the white coat thing going on. And uh, he just wants me to check my blood pressure three times a week for a month, send him the numbers. Um, if it's not an issue, then um, we will proceed to do the imaging, EKG, ultrasound, sonogram, whatever all that stuff is, uh, one year from now. And that's kind of what the electrophysiologist said, that this was going to be an issue that they would probably, from now on, just because of my age, want to look at on a yearly basis. And I guess I'm okay with that. Um, the, the receptionist lady, the check-in lady, whatever you call her, 
was very nice, very helpful, very accommodating, and said, your copay looks a little high, so I'm just going to waive it, and if your insurance comes back, then we'll just bill you for it. I was like, okay, cool, sounds good to me. Um, I do think I, I do think I had a, some miscommunication with Blue Cross Blue Shield when I selected my plan for this year, but because um, I do think my copays are high, but whatever. So all of that to say that my cardiologist today thinks that my heart is just dandy, and we'll move on from there. So that's all I have to say about that. Oh boy, what a day! What a day! What a day! It is 8.30. I just finished an 8K row. Um, ate terribly today, so I'm, I haven't even eaten dinner yet. I'm just going to have a salad. Um, so I went to the hospital this morning. Like I've, I've already told you all this. Went back to get him to bring him home. Um, he went back to his... He got out of the truck and used the walker from the truck to my, my garage. And from there... He took two steps up and into the house and walked into the living room to the couch and then he stopped. So he he did walk that far. Um, not super stable, but just glad that he could uh, make that walk. Uh, was a little shocked. Kind of started laughing as soon as he walked into the kitchen because I did stuff in the kitchen. Uh, the, the kitchen looks about the same, but there was a, a dramatic change in one aspect. And then the living room is like completely different. I, I did kind of think um, it threw him for a loop, uh, which was a little surprising. Because when I said, well, go look at your bedroom, he said, which way? And I thought, oh my God, he, he does he think we're in a different house? Does he not, did not remember where his bedroom has been for the last 33 or so years? But he went back there and, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> was, uh, was instantly like, oh, wow, yeah, Chrissy, I like it. Looks good. So I was pleased. Um, yeah, I got him a new bed. I moved his the lazy boy from the living room that he had not been sitting in uh, into his bedroom, which he has been wanting me to do forever. Um, so he could actually sit back there. Well, he didn't. He'd been saying all this time when he was in the hospital he could not wait to go home and lay down in bed and sleep. Well, he's yet to be in bed because he sat down in that chair, and last I looked, he was still in that chair sleeping. Um, I, I hate to let him sleep all damn day like that, but I just know 10 days in the hospital, they don't let you sleep. I mean, they're, his fingers are purple from all the finger sticks checking his blood and, and just, they just do it so often and so much and blood pressure and all the other things they want to check on a regular basis, just keep you from sleeping. And, um, you know, the lighting in there is terrible. He's in a, in a, um, COVID positive room. So, they have this ventilation system, and, and the noise is fine. It's almost like a white noise, but for the ventilation to blow out of the room, the, basically the blinds have to be up. So the wind, as soon as the sun comes up, it's bright in that room. Um, and, of course, he can't get out of bed and move to turn the lights off, and unless he asks them to turn the lights off when they leave, you know, or, or if they ask him, does he want the lights off? And then he may or may not say yes. He's really... it's. I don't get it. I mean, I, I kind of do because I don't like to ask for help and I don't, most guys don't, I guess, but he doesn't want to ask people to do things for him. <laughs> and sometimes if you offer or suggest, he just says no because he thinks it's too much trouble, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to tell myself that anyway. Um, just wait till he's dead. Then I'll tell you all the horror stories about what a dick my dad's been for uh, all my life. But um, anyway, so uh, I was I gave him I told him I said you can sit back here as long and as he he sat there for like two seconds and said I need to pee so he could barely get out of the chair I don't remember if I actually had to help him up or not I think I did I think I did have to like give him a hand and let him pull me pull on me uh, so I gave him the air horn we have used that before uh, when he's been sick or incapacitated or whatever. Uh, just so I don't have to sit there by his side and watch him. Um, he blows that air horn, and, and I I, uh, I know to go running. But um, I went back then and checked him around 6.30 or 7, maybe. I don't remember exactly what time it was. And he had shifted in the chair. He had his feet up on his bed and had his blanket over him. And I was just going to wake him up and say, you've been in here for a long time, and you probably need to go to the bathroom. And he said, no, I don't. I already went. 
So he got up at some point by himself and went into his bathroom and peed and got back in his chair. So I was pleased and mortified at the same time. Um, cause if he falls and I don't hear him and he can't reach that air horn, then he might just be fucked. But, um, he did it, which shows that exactly what I was telling the people at the hospital that I really feel like once he gets home and back into his normal environment, he, and some sleep, I'm sure the sleep helped too. He will get back to being his normal self mobility wise. He's not running around the block, but he didn't need prior to going in the hospital. He didn't need any help getting up, going to the bathroom, walking out on the porch or the deck, walking into the kitchen. I mean, he, he's been mobile. The only thing I've ever had to help him with mobility wise is getting in and out of the shower. And that's because it's a big step over the edge of the bathtub. Um, so anyway, I'm hoping that this is the beginning of some positive changes for him. Uh, I'm actually considering um, making sure that he is on my membership at the gym and just forcing him to go to the gym a couple times a week, if for no other reason than to get out of the house. So um, we'll see about that. I'm not going to do that yet. I want to get make sure he is um, getting around better, moving around better, and get some calories back in him. Um, he's not he's not weighed himself, but I guarantee you he's lost weight. If nothing else, fluid. He's he is the least swollen his feet and legs have been in years. Um, so they, they tweaked his meds and got a lot of that water out. So, uh, it's just been a long day. Um, and I'm a stress eater and the past 10 days, cause it was almost exactly to, almost to the hour. It was 10 days that he was in the hospital. I've been pretty, um, careless. I don't want to say careless. I just haven't been as rigid as I tend to be with my eating, um, and I do have reason to believe that I haven't gained any weight. Um, in spite of the fact that my workouts have been a little different too. So I, I ate breakfast this morning before I went to the cardiologist. Um, pretty substantial breakfast, actually. More than I probably would normally have. Or, you know, like the high end of what I normally have. Um, and a quart of water. And some cranberry juice. I didn't have any coffee. And course was also fully dressed whereas when I weigh myself at home I am buck naked sorry for that visual but uh I weighed like four and a half pounds more than the last time I weighed myself here at home so I'm thinking between breakfast I didn't uh I didn't take care of any bathroom business either so between eating breakfast not taking care of bathroom business and having a shorts a shirt panty uh, uh, uh shorts underwear socks and shoes um, that maybe my weight hasn't gone up much at all. So kind of, kind of glad for that because, uh, I do readily admit that I am a stress eater and this has been stressful. Um, the stress was also indicated when they took my blood pressure at the cardiologist, but that's another matter. So anyway, all right. So that's it for today. I'm done. I'm, I've exercised. I'm going to go have a Caesar salad with some chicken on it and call it a night. Thanks for watching.